Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and wow, we're out of the retrograde we might, you might just feel the tail end of it because it goes uh, direct on the 12th it all depends where you are in the hemisphere and um, welcome back my cyber angels and if anybody's new welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded okay um, uh, I do go live three times a week and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation that is super chat or super sticker if you would like an extensive reading then look at the information below the video and in the top right hand corner in the white circle with the eye that will take you to my website and there you can see um, all the readings under services um, and that are on offer now for those that are new um, this is my nine card spread which I also do in my extensive readings um, but I'm using this as the weekly uh, reading the querent card or the overall energy card Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday and Sunday and the corner cards are to clarify the tarot and the tarot will clarify the Lenormand then I've got one big card from the white witches tarot and um, I've got the an Archangel Michael tarot card and that is uh, giving you advice or support or uh, uh, food for thought and an answer of the angels so uh, let's get started Leo Leo you came in fourth and um, you had 29 likes on your video so if you want to be first then keep on hitting that like button the first card that you have is the Seven of Cups and I love this deck The Shadowlands by Monica Brodersky and they, they really give, give me more information than the standard um, tarot deck The Enchanted is the other favorite of mine at the moment and this is the Seven of Cups and here you can see all your wishes or could be representing your wishes money freedom house love um, and what else um, action the fire is action okay work job you name it I think it's magical <laughs> even if you if especially if you like the Adams family then you will like this deck and she's standing there with her magic wand trying to make all her wishes come true of course all the wishes can come true but be careful what you wish for and take one at a time don't take too much hay on your fork okay Leo you've got number seven so luck is on your side I would suggest making a pro and cons a list and see which wish could come out um, first and quicker uh, because you will have to take action otherwise nothing will happen like if you are looking for a job then keep on looking for a job and do the research look at what kind of job you would like that might shorten the list and might move it much quicker okay so get into action and make that pros and cons list and if you do that this will once you have um, uh, materialized your idea or your wish into actual being and then you can move on to the second one this will motivate you this will absolutely motivate you on Monday you have the seven again the seven of Pentacles so you've got seven seven so this is the angels giving you a sign that they are there to help you and to make your dreams and goals come true you have sown seeds now it will take time it could take up to seven weeks to seven months before it comes to fruition we are in the seventh month so it could be happening this week and this month okay usually you you see somebody standing there um, waiting but 
Um, I think the humor in this is amazing. Here we've got some kind of monster insect that looks like a grasshopper feeding the meat uh, plants <laughs> to make them grow faster. Well, that's what you can do by taking action in your dream, in go your goals, wishes, and dreams. So that is absolutely gorgeous. It's being the Queen of Pentacles or the Empress nurturing the plants. I love it. I really do. So nurture. If you want something to come uh, to mat into life or materialize, uh, actually, then you have to nurture it. You have to meditate it. You have to. You can visualize on it. You can uh, manifest it. But you have to also take earthly action. So do that and it will come true. You've got 7-7 seven, seven, so I think it's more than likely that it will come true this month. We are in the 7th month and this is the reading for the 13th to the 19th so you've got two more weeks roughly. Two and a half more weeks. Then you have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords yep yeah, she's looking into the bookcase she's doing her research because the air signs are eager to learn and to gather wisdom so you might take a page out of their book Leo you might be Leo rising moon Gemini or a rising uh, Gemini Libra or Aquarium very nice combination action 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 swift action anyway you might be meeting a Libra but don't exclude a Gemini or an Aquarian either you might be get, taking a page out of their book to get clarity you want clarity to make your dreams come true perhaps you are um, looking in newspapers or books or on the internet uh, for a job or for a house or something you want a house then you you will be doing your research like the Queen of Swords Wow she stands for wisdom and knowledge she's eager to learn she stands for communication she also stands for justice clarity and honesty so um, <laughs> sorry if you're hearing a noise it's Millie and Matis the cat and dog playing around here uh, I'm sorry uh, and yeah I'm a Gemini so perhaps it's me that's giving you clarity and what to do well I hope I can support you in some way and you know life is magical and wondrous so who knows what you will find you might find something that you haven't even thought of and now you're finding just an advertisement in 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 uh, an almanac or in a paper or on on the uh, web and you go oh right I hadn't thought about that I'll become hairdresser when it's not even um, it never came up in you to become a hairdresser or something in um, in an institution like a, a legal secretary or um, a receptionist in a legal office or in a municipality well you will be busy you'll be searching and doing your research as well to get clarity and to get clear what you want good on you that could be on Wednesday now on Friday you have the devil perhaps you are doing research to break a bad habit perhaps you have a bad habit or the, you might be researching to break away from a bad habit this could be a person okay this could be a, a person that's manipulating you that's bossing you that's expecting too much for, of you um, this is number 15 and that becomes a six so you will get back into balance on Friday or around Friday you could also be meeting a Capricorn and unfortunately the devil represents Capricorn but you know it doesn't mean to say that all Capricorns are devils or evil no this is this is an extra with the tarot card okay you might be meeting you might be dealing with a German a Libra or a, a Capricorn now with the Queen you've got the 
uh, the definitely the Libra but don't I always say don't exclude the other air signs but with the big arcana card that is a specific sign not all I might add not all the big arcana cards have a, um, a sign assigned to them okay so you might be breaking away from getting uh, um, you might be seeing a doctor um, uh, and finding out how to break away from a habit or a bad habit or an addiction um, perhaps you might be a workaholic it doesn't have to be drink or smoking or, or drugs it could be that you're a workaholic or that you are a loner and you don't dare to go outside there's so many different sites to bad habits and people forget that um, perhaps you are being ma manipulated by somebody um, could be physical or could be mental and you want to break away and you're trying to find a way a legal way out because of the Queen of Swords but remember what goes round comes round and if there is a person that has a bad habit or an addiction around you tell them to seek help from a doctor okay now on at the weekend you have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune uh, to me is also a karma card the basics meaning basic meaning of the wheel of fortune is is you might be going moving home you might be uh, moving up a next level in your relationship or in your your career uh, you might even uh, be expending uh, your business or moving your business it doesn't have to be moving a home alone um, it also is my karma card because what goes round comes round what goes up must go down okay so what if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold and if somebody has done you bad like the devil then they'll get it back threefold as well and you have and it also reminds me of the world okay these two cards oops, um, have more or less the similar um, things here you can see the four elements as well and um, so it is my karma card but it also means that you hold the world in your hand the world is your oyster don't be scared to break away from an old pattern or things that are of no use to you it means an end of a phase and a new beginning everything has its up and down moments and it's number 10 so it is definitely an ending of a phase and a new beginning now um, you that's the hand we've got the hand in this picture and I think that's amazing that is really beautifully described and depicted that card and then we go on to the corner cards and your first corner card is number one in the Lenormand and that's the rider the rider brings news but there could be also a visitor coming or you could be visiting somebody and it's the nine of hearts okay the nine of hearts that's the nine of cups so there is a wish coming true whoopee and it's a new beginning could be in love like I said or could be career wise you might get that promotion if that is what you have been wishing for perhaps you have sown the seeds seven months ago and you worked your way to such a point that you are at the top and you've been recognized and your dream is coming true now the second card uh, corner card is the garden and the garden means gatherings meetings presentations but also somebody might be coming back from the past reunion you might be going to one of these celebrations meetings or presentations and you might see somebody that you've seen before now you've got the eight of spades here 
and the if you follow me then you know that I um, mean that the uh, that I know that the eight of spades is the eight of swords and you've got number 20 so you will be back in balance but the eight of swords means that you might feel tied up it in the tarot it is somebody that's standing in the circle of eight swords blindfolded and tied up but the hands are free so you are free to make that decision to take off that blindfold to shred uh, shred um, shake off those bandages or ties because your hands are free and just walk through the spaces of the swords don't just look what is in front of you but turn your head and look 360 degrees around you what is happening okay so open your eyes open your heart open your solar plex and be open to receive all the um, like the energies that are going around be more aware of what is happening around you okay so perhaps that was a wish of yours to meet somebody back from the past okay especially after the long um, lockdown we haven't seen people for a long time and the past is just one second to go so if you haven't seen somebody for seven months or seven years then perhaps now you might be reuniting the second uh, third card uh, in the corner right is take a gamble you've got the dice but I'm coming back to this perhaps somebody in the past had a bad habit and um, because it's lying next to the garden so they might be coming back okay you can take a gamble with this person and see what they are like perhaps they have broken the habit perhaps they are sweeter perhaps they are nicer perhaps that was your wish that they would be nice and they would have changed their habits but I do get a saying coming up and because he's quite furry um, I get the saying remember a dog sheds its fur but not its tricks and what let's say let's keep it to alcohol if you're an alcoholic it's very very difficult to kick the habit even if you've been dry for seven years or seven months it's difficult to kick the habit because um, the temptation will always be there and usually these people isolate themselves to stay away from cafes or pubs or where there is drink so they will not be tempted so don't be too hard but you can't help somebody with a bad habit um, you can only support them and they have to want it themselves and seek help seek advice from an AA person or a doctor okay so you can take that gamble by saying to them my sweetheart or my friend please seek help I don't think they will be offended if you say it in a gentle tone and in a serious conversation and ask them what their dreams are and let them tell you what their dreams are and then you can say well if you kick this habit then you can reach this then you can reach that then you can work towards that and that is how you can help somebody I think this is a very sensitive reading but a beautiful reading okay Leo now we've got the key the angels are 33 and that's a six back into balance and the angels are also shown I forgot the number here okay 39 is 12 1 and 2 is 3 so be creative you can buy a scratch card but don't go to the casino and go mad that could be somebody's habit yours or somebody else's if it isn't yours now you hold the key to kick the habit you can open the door 
to positivity and close the door on negativity. It will be tough, but seek help, medical help. You've also got the Eight of Diamonds in this corner, and the Eight of Diamonds is the Eight of Pentacles, so you will get recognition. Okay, you might start a new study or a new course. This could, for example, be a course on how not to drink or be addicted. This could be a workshop as well. But you will get recognition and you will get help. The angels are there. 7733. Uh, where? What else? Um, 1 1. Wow. Okay, so know that you are not alone and don't shy away to ask for help. Everybody has dreams, but be careful what you wish for. Okay, this could be help. Okay, this could be the doctor, this could be a nurse, this could be a social worker, this could be um, a, a, an AA therapist. So be clear. Be honest and be straight with yourself and the other. Now you've got the Seven of Pentacles here. So, open the door to the to receive. Open the door. You're feeding it. Okay, you're feeding the plants. They're growing. The time is here now to open that door and be open to receive. We have a beautiful card from the White Witch's Tarot. And I love using this because I, I, I admire them because I would even, if I had the money, I would get a, a tattoo and would get the tattoo for the zodiac sign, the twins. And I, Libra, I think it's Libra or the, just, yeah, the Justice card is my favorite card. But you have the Hermit. And the Hermit is, of course, if anybody knows their cards, the Hermit is um, Virgo. Now I'm just trying to show you the uh, my favorite card. I think it's so feminine. Judgment. It's judgment, not justice. There you go. It's like a lady's face. But yet all the ideas look that is like balloons is her hair and all and that, that to me that speaks like ideas and those eyes are shining beaming i love these cards you can see all the cards in the review and i've put all the zodiacs signs underneath the review and you can just stop the video and take a screenshot if you're into in into um T um, tattoos and get one done. So if you're a Virgo, this would be your tattoo. So you might be meeting a Virgo, but you might also be withdrawing yourself because the hermit withdraws and he knows that he has to lighten his load now and again because life's journey, that is what he's on, it doesn't matter where you begin or where you end it's how you go about it and what you do with your journey of life your experiences throw away what is of no use to you take with you the knowledge that you've learnt and your life experiences and pass it on to third people and help those that need help but know that you cannot change their life they have to want it and seek help right and he also has the ever burning light showing him the way where the path is so carry on now we've got the Archangel Michael card and it's a red card and red means action so there will be quite an active week this week withdrawal no longer fun walk away boom that is so wow mind-blowing walk away no longer fun walk away walk away from other people's drama 
withdraw from other people's drama. Wow. Don't let yourself be manipulated or used. Archangel Michael asks you to detach from the drama associated with a particular situation. The time has come to withdraw and walk away. I couldn't have said it better. better. Now you've got the golden sword and there's three uh, you've got the yellow cards and you've got the green cards the yellow cards are also the protection those are the shield cards and then you have the green cards and the green cards um, are uh, the healing cards so you need to walk away in order to heal okay take that action don't be used or abused and enjoy your life take that gamble you can stand on your own two feet you are strong enough okay wow you have the key you hold the key to your own future to your own dreams now if I was doing an extended reading then I could say well you might wish somebody to come back from the past because we've got the reunion card here okay and you hold the key so in other words if you want somebody to come back from the past I would suggest you could why don't you take up contact with them send them a message let them know you're thinking about them and that you've opened and then you are opening the door to the past it's up to you whether you do that whether you open the door to bad habits or let somebody negative come into your life do you really want that? I don't think so open the door to positivity and walk away from negativity I hope you have enjoyed this reading Leo and look what the angels are telling you you are ready to stand in your own strength remember we haven't got the strength card here we haven't got the seven of wands so you don't have to def defend yourself but I was just stand uh, thinking about it the seven of wands you've got two sevens here we are missing the seven of wands but that number seven is significant and I'm getting a message here the seven of wands you don't always have to defend yourself you are stronger than you think you can stand your ground even if you have to defend yourself you hold the key you make the decisions on how you want to be treated on what you want to be and where you want to be what kind of a job you want what kind of dreams or goals do you want get into action and take your dream and put it into action and then you've got your wish or your goal I wish you good luck if it is searching for a job yes I know you de also depend on luck well luck is here and of course somebody that says come in we would love you to have you on our team so I wish you good luck if you're seeking for a job and with anything else please like and share the video and I hope to see you in the live sessions ciao ciao stay safe thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Ciao, ciao.